Okay, this is a long toss drill or a knockout drill, and we're just going to start a ball and work it down to one side, and that ball's going to come back to that same side. And when that happens, one person is going to exit the drill. So now your players are farther apart and they're making a little bit longer throw. Now for this drill, we've only used about half of the field, but ordinarily we will use the entire field. Now someone else has come out and we're down to only three people and your center fielder will be in the middle at this point because she's gonna be making some of the longest throws. Now she's been knocked out and we use one ball going back and forth. Let's talk about the basic mechanics. Now I'm going to assume that we have right-handed throwers because I throw right-handed. If you have lefties, just turn it around. The mechanics will be the same. I will, go, I will show you a forward view so that you know what it looks like when you're looking at your athletes. And I'll show you a side view so that when, no matter what position they're in, you'll be able to pick up some of the flaws in the mechanics of your players. I want to step with my left foot being a right-handed thrower directly at my target whatever that target is if i'm throwing home or third or just back to my partner i'm going to step forward with my left foot towards that partner another important ingredient that people forget about is this glove hand that glove hand is also going to point right to my target this is important it should be high because i am going to use this glove in a pulling action so it's important that it's nice and high. When I come back with the ball, it's down, back, and up. This is the position you want your throwers in. Down, back, up. This is the open position. The palm of the ball is, a, is away from me, and what my partner sees right now are my fingers. Down, back, up. Then I will begin my rotation with my feet and hips and keep the ball high over my head and come through in a downward motion here. I'll show you that again. Down, back, and up. Pull with my left arm. Rotate with my feet and hips. Keep my elbow high above my shoulder, reach to the sky, and throw follow through, release. Let me show you that from the side. Catch the ball from my partner. Down, back, and up. Ball is facing away. Rotate, transfer of weight forward, elbows nice and high, palm first, then fingers, follow through, release. The force generation that you're going to get out of the throw comes from the legs and the trunk rotation. If you have someone who's not coming to a good open position here, they are not going to be able to rotate and use that leg and torso to create enough force on the ball. Another problem area that you're gonna see your athletes do, you can see it best if I come this way, they'll allow their elbow to sag. This creates stress on the shoulder and in the elbow and you will run into um, some injury problems here. If they come here and come this way, look at the position of my elbow to my shoulder. It's too low, okay? So you wanna be sure they keep them up. We call it coming straight over the top. Reach up, come over the top. Reach up, over the top, down. 